No, it's not that I'm an Islamophobe. It's just I've seen what happens. I've watched the news. I've looked at the history books. I've watched what happens to him. I watched what happens overseas. I know what the, I know what the scripture says. I know that there will never be peace in the Middle East. You guys are out here talking about peace. I want you to understand the scripture says there will never be peace. And, the, and Muslims don't like Israel. Israel is God's chosen country people. Israel is where my savior came from. You cannot, you cannot blend in with these people. I don't want you serving any false prophets. Don't buy in to the stuff that these people are saying. I welcome everybody to America. You're welcome to live here. All I ask you to do is accept Jesus for your soul. For your soul. If you're going to be here, accept Jesus Christ because he loves you and he wants you to go to heaven. Jesus Christ is the Savior. The scripture says you can be saved by no other name. The scripture says you'll be saved by no other name. Not Muhammad, not Allah. You can only be saved through the blood of Jesus Christ. My Savior died on that cross. I've had people calling him a prophet. Oh, he was more than a prophet. He was much more than a prophet. We hope that you just hear this, this, this message today for your souls. Your parents, you better listen to this because you're going to send your children to hell. By telling them about your false God and your false Savior, you're going to send your to children. Hell. And when you go to hell with your child, your child will blame you. Accept Jesus Christ, the only true way to get to heaven. I'm not here trying to make you mad. I'm out here because I care. We want you to understand about Jesus Christ. You're out here talking about let's have peace. Let's have peace. I'm sorry, I haven't hit anybody. I haven't murdered anybody. We have peace. You want me to tell you how I know we have peace? Because we're here telling you about Jesus Christ. That's peace. The scripture says he will give you a sound mind and peace. We're here for peace. These people out here professing Muhammad, oh, they're not here for peace. They're not here for peace. The people that are here telling you about Jesus Christ, yes, they're here for peace. Oh, you. They care about you. They want you to go to heaven. They have not been lied to all their life. They understand about Jesus Christ. We want you to know that we're not out here because you're in America. Many of these people out here are mad because you're coming to America. No, not us. You're welcome to come here. I just want you to get your soul saved. Accept Jesus Christ. And reject your fairy tale Koran. Reject that book. Reject that satanic thing that you worship and study. Reject it. And believe the Holy Bible. The true Holy Bible. The only true. He couldn't, he couldn't understand. He couldn't, he couldn't fathom the fact that, that Jesus is God. He understood the fact that he understood that Jesus was a prophet, and I, that's, you know, I'm glad Muslims understand that that Jesus is a prophet. And of course, obviously, him being God, uh, he is a prophet. He, he, he follows the line of, of the prophet. But also, as the as the as following the Lord of the prophet, uh, uh, but that's because he is God. Oh, 
we're saying that you're going to be born again. The same thing Nicodemus came to Jesus, and he was like, man, what's up? And Jesus said, Nicodemus, look, I love you, but you must be born again. And that was the message in which Jesus preached. The only way that you're going to understand the fact that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, is that you must be born again. The only way you're going to understand that Allah is a false prophet, or, or is a false God, is a demon God, and the Lamb is a false prophet, is that you're going to understand about what Jesus said, you must be born again. And that's why God preaching here. We, we, don't, we don't condemn anybody. Uh, we do condemn Islam. We do condemn the, uh, all the things that's going on in, Middle, in, in, in the Middle East and in America because you guys have migrated over here. And, and you know, now in our country, and, and we don't want it to wind up like Paris. We don't want our country to wind up like France. I mean, if, if you go over there and look at that country, man, it, I mean, even now, it used to be romantic. But now it's like almost like a third world country. worse. The way that, 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 that their own taxpayers cannot even go down the street without the Muslims beating them and ripping them and slapping them and, and, and accusing them. You see, and that's a shame that the old taxpayers cannot even walk down the street of France, can't even walk down the street of Paris without getting beat up by the loving people of Muslim. And see, that's what you guys want. They must accept you, and then you hold up, and then what happens is, uh, then it winds up like Paris, and I wind up like this old kid over there, and I'm telling you, there are red bands here in America that will not stand for. They will not play with that stuff. Y'all get upset, right? Over the fact that, that, that America is Islam. Y'all, I mean, y'all don't quite understand. Oh, why? Why is it that, why is it that, 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 that America is upset with Islam? And I just can't understand why. So yes, yeah, all the children that, that are being slaughtered, the Christians that are being
The only way you can get saved is through Jesus Christ. The only way you can make it to heaven is through Jesus Christ, not Allah, not through White Mo uh, White, uh, White Moham, though. Amen. But only through Jesus Christ. I know you guys don't like that. I know it's this box hate the Quran says to to uh, that anybody who preaches anything else besides the Quran, they they are now Islam. And that we are to be killed. And so a good Muslim would. You don't know what I read. I have one in my church. I bet you I'll read it to you. Yes? Okay, I will. I'll be right back. Hey, I think you got a debate going here. Come, come on, he's he going to go get the Quran. Just see how much of the Quran that you know of. Hey, they're written by a demon. A demon? A demon for this man. Mohammed. <laughs> yeah, a demon for this man called Mohammed. <laughs> Satan is the father of lies, friend. Satan. And that's your father. Satan. That's your father. That's the father. That's the father of Mohammed. That's the father of my hand. And guys, listen. Jesus, Jesus said, Jesus said, thank not that I've come to bring peace, but I've come to bring a sword. I've not come to bring peace. Amen? Listen, guys. There is no peace in Palestine. There is no peace for the wicked. The only way you're going to get saved, the only way you're going to have peace is not through Allah, not through following Mohammed, but through Jesus Christ. Amen. That's it. That's the bottom line that we preach. Now, y'all take it or leave it. Y'all have to answer to, to our God for that. Allah, Allah will, will be known in hell. Okay? No, no, Allah is a demon. Allah is a demon, so he's not there yet. Now, well, but Mohammed is already there. Mohammed is already there. And you don't like that. I understand that. I saw the news report this morning. You guys were talking about, oh, it ain't fair. Oh, it ain't fair. It ain't fair that they're standing out here preaching the gospel to us Muslims. It ain't fair that they're telling us that, that, uh, that we reject Christ and we're going to hell. It ain't fair. Oh, I tell you what ain't fair. It's not fair about the innocent being killed and destroyed and their head cut off over, over yonder. And then y'all come on expecting us to accept, accept that junk. Can I, 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 can